I grew up in uh, Temecula, uh, born in San Diego, moved out to Temecula around kindergarten. I moved to Philly about, about four years ago. We were uh, praying about moving. Uh, we were trying to, you know, we felt we were getting too old to stay at, at you know, our parents' house. And um, so we started, uh, you know, praying like, Lord, where you want us to go? And uh, the Lord had been showing us both some stuff, you know, as far as, you know, uh, some stuff in the scriptures and, and, and whatnot. And um, I had a conversation with uh, Mike Thornburg, um, former Redeemed Thought member, and uh, he, uh, he, he mentioned the idea of moving out here and uh, offered to, you know, let us stay with him. If you're Christian, your dad is insisting on having us listen, passing the mission so cats who are distant can add to the witness, grasping the vision and acting consistent, passionate living for the master who's risen. Redeemed Thought helped me prepare for a solo project because um, I think, or at least for me, um, when I first started, it was hard for me to write whole songs um, just as an artist. Um, I kind of needed to be in a group in order to learn how to, because um, I, I very rarely have more than one verse worth of information to share on a song. Um, but um, so having that, you know, that camaraderie, the support, you know, I mean, having somebody on stage to back you up, um, it um, it got me comfortable with, you know, just being on stage and you know writing songs and stuff like that. It was something to do while I was writing on the low. I was also like writing a lot of the solo stuff during, you know, writing for, you know, Redeemed Thought albums. Clashing begins and he snatches the wind with the last it was written. Lacking in wisdom, cast your petition so if fast it is given and he'll act in provision. Redeemed Thought, True Beauty Goodness was really general. Um, it wasn't too confrontational or too uh, controversial or too um, to anything really. It was really just like we're trying to sum up. We wanted to convey um, a balance of you know, a balanced view of Christianity and the truth. Shaping the life of a saint who at times was a slave to desires. Flames of his mind's lust raging inside, tucked away in his pride, but the blaze is retired. With today's Gain, it's a lot more specific. It, it deals a lot more with um, um, a lot of my personal life, a lot of uh, doctrinal issues that bother me. Um, not just doctrinal, but just behavioral issues in the church that, 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 that bother me. And by bother me, I don't just mean like it's my pet peeve, but, um, but you know, things that I believe bother, um, you know, a solid contingent of Christians who, um, who, who agree with God about those things. Um, so, uh, so it addresses a lot, of, a lot of that type of stuff, churchiness, uh, you know, and um, uh, just the, the um, I also wanted to convey a less American view of Christianity. Like, I didn't want it to be, um, like American Christianity is very materialistic, um, has, lost a lot of the focus on things that are, are really essential and basic to the faith, you know, self-sacrifice and, um, you know, mission, being missional, uh, you know, just, just basic stuff. So I, want, I wanted to try and um, try to just convey that, just convey a different type of Christianity than, Christianity than, than we're used to hearing about. There's no stopping or moving me. I come pursuing the God who pursued me and caught me and wooed me. Agape consuming me. I open up the album by saying that, you know, everything that I have to say, like, you know, don't don't just believe me. Go and check it out for yourself. Like, I'm not, I'm not special. I'm not, you know, um, I'm no different from any other Christian um, as far as status is concerned, you know, personality-wise maybe, but, you know, uh, it's like, Anybody who's a Christian has the Holy Spirit and should be able to study the Word of God and um, and come and come to at least some good conclusions. So hopefully they'll be able to take take what I have to say to the Word and, and find it there. So 
Um, so yeah, I guess that's one thing. Cause I mean, even if they don't catch a lot of the other things, at least if they get that, the, the means for them to find out the other things are there. So, so yeah, I'd have to say just uh, that I, I hope that cats walk away with um, a, a, a huge burden to, to study the word for themselves and to, to know the truth. He's conforming us to him, cause we afford to trust in him when things are warming up again. If he's the Lord, we must do when it's daily getting hotter though. I think it kind of fits more into that kind of the niche or the reputation that Land Mode is kind of made for itself. Um, as far as, you know, a standard of, of, of doctrine, um, an underground hip hop style, um, and um, just, just those two things are, are really kind of categorized. Um, um, in the album and in lamp mode. What's by your shift your vision to Messiah? That's why I'm writing the soundtrack to my life. As far as the underground hip hop style, like my, the album's underground. Um, there's a few songs that might not fit into that category, but but I think it, it stays consistent with that. And um, and I think this is the this is the audience that the Lamp Mode audience is the type that will actually hear it, enjoy it. And, and feel the need to, you know, to get it out to other people that will be able to uh, catch it and enjoy it. Then I get hit with conviction. Lord, I was tripping, forgive me for missing it. Next time I'm gonna sit and listen. I've made a lot of apologies for speaking sharply. I had the opportunity to work with, with Essence, uh, with, um, with uh, Vic, um, DJ MVP. Uh, still got some beats from Fish, uh, J Red. Um, Mac the Doulos, who I've been waiting to work with for a minute. The first album didn't have any scratching on it whatsoever. And this album kind of has a, a good handful of uh, scratching on it, so, um, so I'm happy about I'm happy about the music. <clears throat> I feel like it uh, it's, it's different from the first album, and um, it kind of uh, fits. Uh, it's my style. But it starts in the heart and you're the only one I know that can get it right. So I'm patient, the walk is still a fight and I'ma continue gripping the mic. Brain you help me to spit it right.